This week on the Husky Update. Northeastern University wraps up its unique spring semester while questions about the fall remain on everyone's minds, even with new information coming to light. The national unemployment rate rises to heights not seen since the Great Depression. All this and more on this week's episode of the Husky Update. Your campus, your news, all the time. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Husky Update, our first of the 2020 to 2021 school year. I'm Amir Islam, reporting remotely from Nassau, New York. COVID-19 has caused drastic changes in the lives of many. Though we are spread out across the globe, our mission of keeping the student body informed has not ended. The spring semester has recently completed, with the latter half of it being completely online, a first for Northeastern. On March 11th, Northeastern announced that all students on campus had to move out within three days. Students that had a special circumstance that prevented them from going home were able to stay in International Village until April 24th. All exams and lectures went online starting March 11th. Students were permitted to take as many of their classes as pass-fail as they would like. Initially, a maximum of only two were allowed, but this was adjusted later. Summer 1 classes began on May 4th, completely online. Summer 2 classes will similarly be all online, though students with co-ops in Boston that cannot work remotely can be housed on campus. Our reporter, Alana Gersten, is working on a story about online classes. If you would like to share your experience, please email her at gersten.i at husky.nu.edu. Now, on to Rapid Fire with reporter Nick Stolte. Thanks, Amir. My name is Nick Stolte, and this is Rapid Fire. In Northeastern news, the Council for University Programs, or CUP, hosted a live virtual Jeremy Zucker concert and Q&A session on Thursday, May 7th. Zucker performed some of his better-known pop songs, including Come Through, Julia, and All the Kids Are Depressed, along with answering questions about a variety of subjects, from his songwriting process to his life in quarantine. In national news, former President Barack Obama announced that he will be partnering with Malala Yousafzai, BTS, LeBron James, and many more to present a commencement address for the class of 2020. The ceremony will air on more than 20 platforms, including ABC, CBS, and NBC. The national unemployment rate has risen to an alarming 14.7%, the worst it has been since the Great Depression, and a stark contrast from February and March, when it had been around 4%. This comes amid protests to reduce social distancing measures across America, hoping to reduce the damage being done to the economy. However, Polls are showing that a majority of Americans are against reopening the country prematurely. The Department of Justice has moved to abandon the case against former Trump National Security Advisor Michael Flynn, who was being prosecuted on charges of lying to the FBI about conversations with Russia's then-ambassador to the United States early in 2017. In an interview with CBS News, Attorney General William Barr asserted, Crime cannot be established here. That's all for Rapid Fire. Back to you, Amir. Thanks, Nick. On Friday, May 10th, President Owen sent an email to students about the university's plans for the fall semester. Currently, Northeastern is making plans for in-person classes in the fall, even though they declare this effort is even more complicated than the move to remote learning. The email stated that classes will still be held both in live and recorded formats. Also included is confusion about housing in the fall. President Aoun stated that the university will need to expand student housing into new buildings and communities to reduce residential density. The new housing locations should include a location for students who need to self-isolate. That's the news. The rest is up to you. Be sure to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with the Husky Update. My name is Amir Islam. Thank you for watching.